Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, my name is Audelia and today I'm going to be doing an honest, honor active, effortless collection review. If you're unaware, this is actually Chrissy Chella's own activewear brand. I had tried to purchase a few products in a restock back in April, but I wasn't able to. Each item in my cart was selling out as I was checking out, so I ended up getting absolutely nothing. But this time, I made sure to be a lot quicker with checking out and I did manage to get everything that I wanted. But if you weren't able to get a certain product, just wanted to put it out there that this is a staple collection meaning that they will continue to do restocks throughout the years so you'll have multiple chances by the way I did only get some leggings and a pair of shorts just because I'm not the biggest fan of their effortless sports bra it does have a pretty high neckline and a razor back and it doesn't have adjustable straps which I just prefer but I am gonna be on the lookout for a classic 2.0 restock because I really love the bra for that collection also just a quick tip for launches I do highly recommend doing autofill on Google it just makes the whole process a lot faster but yeah by the way I did get everything in a size small I sized up because I was kind of in between sizes I'll insert a picture of their size chart here but you can also find it on their website but yeah, I'm so excited to show you guys what I got and let's get right into it. So just a little bit about the Effortless collection. It includes a scrunch feature, which I believe is five threads. So this just removes that kind of unibutt look that we all kind of don't like. It gives you a bit of glute separation as well and just enhances your curves a little bit more. But it's also not so invasive like the Alpha Lee Amplifies. The whole collection is also seamless. It has contouring down the hips to kind of again accentuate that area. It has a two-tier waist band for lower tummy control and also to kind of shape your waist also something that I just thought was really cool about this whole brand as a whole is that their leggings do feature two different lengths they have the short length which I believe is for girls that are 5'7 and below and then they also have the long length for anybody 5'7 and above which is great for the taller girls and they also have sizes extra small to 2xl so it is pretty inclusive so the effortless collection so far comes in the colors rosewood midnight evergreen, sage, light denim, deep taupe, charcoal, and black. Alright guys, so I did already take everything out of their bags, but just in case you guys wanted to see, this is their packaging. And also just wanted to quickly mention, all of the products come with like this tag, and attached to it is an elastic. This elastic is actually a hair tie. You can see there, it's just the Honor Active logo, but I actually used this to tie my hair for the gym this morning, and these are actually pretty good hair ties. Anyways, today I have their leggings in evergreen, and then their leggings in light denim, and then I also do have the rosewood shorts. They also do have cycling shorts in all of the colors mentioned. I didn't get any just because my legs are already pretty small, and I feel like like cycling shorts just make them look even smaller but they also do have matching bras and matching crop tops so you can definitely mix and match and create that set look okay so I believe the leggings start at $55 and then the shorts start at 45 US dollars but I remember last restock the leggings were actually $50 and the shorts were actually $40 but I think with inflation and everything going on they did have to raise their prices but I don't remember them announcing that they were going to have that price increase regardless I would still say it's a pretty mid price price point. They're not as expensive as the Alpha Lee Amplifies, which I believe start at $72, but they're also not as cheap as some activewear that you can find on Amazon, but I would say it's still pretty reasonable. All right, so first off, here I have the leggings in light denim. So the material is pretty thin, especially obviously at the legs, but they are also very stretchy, and I would say that they do mold to your body pretty well. And here you can see the contouring on the side of the glutes. You can kind of see that that area there is a slightly different material and texture. It kind of does give it like that 3D effect and provides some subtle detailing. Okay, and then you can see here that their vinyl logo is at the top of the left hip as well as the bottom of the right leg. For the gusset, it is pretty long. The gusset is from here to here, so it does go pretty far into the inner thigh. These do fit a full length on me, which I do really like because a lot of leggings I have, I pull them up a little bit to situate them and they kind of end up being an ankle high length so I really do like that these are a full length on me all right and then here you can see that scrunch it is pretty stretchy I really do like this specific scrunch because it only really goes halfway into the glutes it doesn't really go like the full length like the amplifies do I just think this gives it more of a natural look and doesn't make it so obvious that it's a scrunch but it still does the job okay so in a lot of different reviews people said that these are super compressive but these actually weren't that compressive on me Again, I was in between sizes and I would say I'm definitely on the small
smaller side of the size small but I would say that if you're on the bigger end of the small then these could definitely be a little bit more compressive on you so the material wasn't too tight for me but I am glad that I sized up here you can see that two tier waistband the two tiers just have two different compressions I think it does a really nice job of kind of cinching in your waist I would say that these are pretty cellulite friendly Maybe not completely cellulite friendly, but if that is something that you're worried about, then I would definitely stick to the darker colors in the collection just because darker colors tend to conceal that a little bit better than the lighter ones. And these are the exact same, just in two different colors. It does have a slight marled look, but it is definitely a lot more noticeable in the evergreen color. I actually did wear the evergreen color for a leg day this morning, and I didn't notice any sweat. But obviously sweat may be more noticeable in the light denim color. Overall though, they were super comfortable and were not restrictive whatsoever. Okay, so for squat proofness, I would say that they are pretty squat proof. Of course, lighter colors are prone to being more opaque. But here's a quick tip to help you guys out with that. So you're going to want to pull the material up from the leg and then back towards your glutes. I also do a couple squats just to help set the material in place. Obviously be careful because the material is delicate and it is prone to being punctured, but this will help the material be a little less opaque while also making your bum look good. Again, you can also size up to have more material to move around, but it is a hack that I think helps most people. Okay, and here are the rosewood shorts. They're the exact same thing as the leggings. They have the same features. They have the same five thread scrunch in the back, as well as the contouring on the sides of the glutes. The vinyl logo is by the hip, as well as the bottom side of the shorts. For the gusset, it does go all the way down the inner leg from here to here. And I think that's to try to help the camel toe situation, which can happen a lot with seamless leggings. But pretty much everything feels the same. It's pretty consistent with the leggings. The waistband has the same amount of compression. They're both pretty stretchy as well. Also, I'm not completely sure about the inseam on these shorts, but my guess would be that they are about a 4.5, maybe 5 inch inseam. That being said, because they are a shorter short, they will most likely roll up naturally while you're working out. This just happens a lot with the shorts that are under a five inch inseam. So they didn't cut into my thigh too much, but if you are on the bigger side of the size small and just have thicker legs, this might be more of an issue for you than it is for me, just because I do have pretty small thighs. There was absolutely no gaping at the waist for any of the products even though these weren't too compressive on me. And for squat proofness, for the rosewood shorts, they are definitely squat proof. I think Chrissy had mentioned that rosewood is the most squat proof color in the collection so far. So because these are all pretty thin, they are pretty susceptible to pilling. So in order to make them last as long as you can, you definitely want to wash all of your activewear in cold water. It's also recommended that you don't use softener, just use soap and let everything air dry if you can because tumble drying does the most damage to your active oil. But yeah, anyways, that's it for today, guys. Let me know if you guys liked this video and if you guys would like to see more like this. Comment down below if you were able to get anything from this previous restock or launch or if you're keeping your eye out for the next one. Feel free to follow my Instagram that's linked down below. I definitely want to start posting more fitness, lifestyle related content on there as well as on my YouTube channel. So if you're interested in that, make sure to check that out. But I do have a lot of things planned, so definitely subscribe. All right, guys, have a good one. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.